Thank you for watching our video on how to draw a network diagram. Before we go into details, it is essential to understand what a network diagram is and why it is important. A network diagram is a visual representation of a computer network. It can be created using specialized layer 2 mapping software, like UV Explorer, or drawn by hand. The diagram shows the physical and logical connections between different devices and nodes in a network. The physical connections refer to the actual cables, switches, and routers that connect the devices. The logical connections refer to the way the data flows between the devices. Network maps are a powerful tool to help administrators plan, design, and manage complex networks. It depicts the connection between different devices and nodes, including routers, switches, firewall servers, and workstations. Imagine a network without a network diagram. It would be like a maze without a map. Administrators would be lost in a sea of cables, switches, and routers trying to figure out how everything is connected. Network diagrams provide a clear and concise overview of the network, making it easier to manage and troubleshoot. Network maps play a crucial role in designing and managing computer networks. They help administrators to understand the network topology, identify the location of different devices and nodes, visualize the flow of data, plan for future expansion, and troubleshoot network issues quickly. There are different types of network diagrams used for different purposes. The most common types are physical network diagrams that show the physical connections between devices and nodes in a network. They include details such as the type of cable used, the length of the cable, and the location of the devices. Logical network diagrams show the logical connections between devices and nodes in a network. They include details such as IP addresses, subnets, and routing protocols. Network architecture diagrams that show the overall structure of a network, including the different layers and components. Finally, wireless network diagrams show the connections between wireless devices, such as laptops, smartphones, and tablets. Each type of diagram serves a specific purpose and provides administrators with valuable information. Before drawing a network diagram, it's essential to understand its basic components. Nodes and devices refer to the various components of a network, such as routers, switches, hubs, servers, and workstations. These components are represented by different shapes. Connections and links refer to the physical or logical connections between different components of the network. These connections are represented by lines. Network topologies refer to the different ways in which nodes and devices in a network are connected. The most common network layouts are star, mesh, ring, and bus. Now that we understand the basic components of network diagrams, let's explore the steps to draw one. The first step in drawing a network diagram is to define the scope and purpose. What components of the network do you want to include? What is the purpose of the diagram? Once you have defined the scope and purpose, you need to gather information and data about the network components. You can use network discovery tools, such as UV Explorer, to collect information automatically. Choose the right layout. Different layouts work better for different network topologies. Some of the most common layouts are hierarchical, circular, and mesh. After choosing the layout, you can start adding nodes and devices. Pick the right shapes and icons for each component. Once you have added all the components, connect them with appropriate links and connections. Use different types of lines and arrows to represent different types of connections. Finally, label and annotate the diagram with relevant information, such as IP addresses, device names, and connection types. Use a professional font and size for all the text. Network diagrams are crucial for designing, troubleshooting, and managing computer networks. With the right tools and techniques, drawing network diagrams can be easy and efficient. There are also software tools like UV Explorer that will create your network map automatically. These tools use protocols like SNMP to accurately diagram your network. Thank you for watching our short video on how to draw a network diagram. You can find out more information on automated network mapping at uvexplorer.com.